So this is a quick demo of Layout, the Outrun level editor. We're going to get started here just by importing an existing track rather than making one from scratch. This is Coconut Beach. Now there are three stages to editing any track path. The first is defining the direction of the track. Um, you do this through a series of control points. For each control point you set the angle and the length of that particular segment. So here we can edit uh, the angle of an existing segment. Here I am changing that. You can also change the length of each segment as well. You can also add or remove segments as needed, so you can easily insert new bits in the, in the middle of any track. Each track in OutRun is a uh, predefined length, so your track has to be the right length, but the editor makes it easy to do that. We can also edit the width, again, a series of control points, just inserted a new one there, top right. Um, for each of these there's also some handy buttons, so you can just click them and say, I want to make this three lanes to through to six lanes or, or two lane road. You can edit the um, values in a more granular manner as well if you want to. Um, this section is a little unfinished, but um, it works. Um, it's just not brilliant. Um, it's editing the height of the track. Um, basically, there's a series of height maps, and these get imported for you automatically from OutRun. There's about 250 of these, and there's a very crude representation of some of these on the right. Um, at the moment, the editing of these isn't that easy, but you can go in and actually edit the values of them, create your own hills and all that sort of thing. Um, it's quite a complicated format. Whether you'll actually need to edit your own segments or not is... Mm, probably debatable given that there's so many already in fact there's many unused ones that aren't actually used in the final game for you to find and and play around with but anyway um so there we go um okay so that was coconut beach but here we are um about to start creating a new track i just want to show you how quick it is to do this um clearly like any track you're going to want to do some play testing and I'm going to build options into the editor as well that make it easy for you to start the track at any particular point and to rapidly check your changes which we don't currently have um, so I'm just inserting a bunch of uh, track segments here you can see uh, I've got a bunch of curves going really just sort of it's as easy as clicking insert choosing the choosing the length and angle for each one At the moment, you can see as well, it's defaulting to uh, two lanes here. Um, we're going to, or sorry, rather two roads. Uh, we can change that later. I'll just finish off the track by inserting a bunch of straights, basically, after, after a while, just to make it a little bit quicker as well. So here we go. Inserting a bunch of points. As I said, each track has to be a, a, a particular length. Um, much of this probably still needs a bit of work, but... Really, it's just to give you an idea of where this is going, what I've been spending my time doing, um, which is easier in a video. Okay, so uh, let's move on. Add a few widths in here. So first width, let's make the track um, converge into a single road. Again here, going to make it narrower. So we've got some very sharp corners. Maybe makes sense to make them a little bit wider there. I'm just using the buttons to instantly put a number of lanes on. Here you can see on the long stretch at the end I'm slowly changing the road so it will change into two, uh, two separate roads again. So next part, uh, height segments, I'm just going to allocate these very randomly at the moment. So I'm just going to choose some at random. You can see the rough length of each height segment in red um, so you can sort of tell how long these are going to last for. Um, to be honest, at, at the moment, like figuring out what's best is a little bit of trial and error, but it's pretty quick. It, it doesn't take long to get a track that's that's nice and playable. Um, as you'll see, as we export here into a format suitable for Cannonball, eventually we'll also have a format suitable for the original ROMs. Um, but for now, I'm just focusing on on Cannonball. Okay, so export, and then we can load it up. Here we are. Um, there's no scenery in this demo apart from the stuff at the start. That's because I haven't got on to doing the scenery yet. Um, so yeah, here's our road that we created. As you can see, it's fully playable. Um, using the standard sort of coconut beach colours at the moment, but that will all be configurable in the long run. 
you can remember that the road I created um, only really did the first few sections. At the end, it was just one long straight. So you can see the initial stuff here. You can hit, see all the height segments. Um, and at the end, basically what I did there was create a long uh, downhill sort of section um, with the road splitting into two lanes. So there you have it, nice and quick.